occasionally videos of animal cruelty and abuse surface on the internet. It's heartbreaking. No one condones these actions, especially veterinarians and those who work in animal agriculture. Well, again, a recent case has stirred intense emotions all around the country, and I've decided to take this chance to talk about the positive solutions that can be done to prevent such abuse. A website promoting a vegetarian lifestyle has released a horrific undercover video showing uneducated workers killing dairy calves in an inhumane and sadistic way. This is our video taken a few days later at the same dairy calf ranch. Notice that it's a large operation. That means they can afford to do things correctly. Now I'm not going to show you this video. It's simply too gruesome. The outcry was immediate. World-renowned philosopher and animal welfare specialist, Dr. Bernie Rowland, said this. This, I would say, is the worst instance of heartless, uh, sadistic cruelty that I have ever been party to. Some well-respected national organizations, most notably the American Association of Bovine Practitioners and Cattlemen's Associations in many states, immediately issued statements condemning the actions. First, let me tell you this situation in Texas is extremely unusual. Our nation's farmers and ranchers care deeply about the health and welfare of their livestock. But what's the deeper answer here? Well, the solution lies in education, pure and simple. When producers invest time with their veterinarian to look at their production system, it has a great impact on the health of the animals that they invest their time and resources in. Our nation's producers already adhere to existing high standards as outlined by national organizations. Veterinarians are a key component in making sure all farm employees have appropriate education and training. This relationship helps assure both care and welfare are done properly. Now this is not some future hope. These training programs exist now and can be delivered either on farm or online in English and in Spanish. Sites such as animalcaretraining.org are a perfect example. For as little as $25 a person, these workers can understand the proper and compassionate ways to care for these animals that provide so much for us. Our farmers and ranchers produce food for America and for the world, with over 96% of Americans eating animal protein. The answer is not vegetarianism, and these cases should not be used to raise money for already extremely wealthy national animal rights organizations. The answer is good, solid training for all workers, and production animal veterinarians can be a real asset to producers in that essential training, because the world needs healthy animal protein, healthy people, and a healthy planet. Emotions run high in cases like this, but real-world solutions are here now. We do not need more laws or mandates, but better communications and relations between animal experts and producers. And as you have just seen, that should not be difficult to achieve. For the Veterinary News Network, I'm Dr. Jim Humphreys.